हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू स्किल्स बिल्ड ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माई सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिकम एन आई टी प्रो रेली फैस्ट सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टू डेज वीडियो इज हाउ टू यूज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट प्लानर ऑफिस थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव ऐप सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर रेड्यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड So in today's video I'll show you that how you can use Microsoft Planner. Basically there are two ways you can access Microsoft Planner. First one is by your Microsoft Teams and second one is by going to your Office 365 and then you can access Microsoft Planner. There is no major difference between both method. You can access it from any platform but what the good thing is all the things which you will add into your microsoft planner either it is from microsoft team or it is from office 365 they both will get synced with each other so i'll show you that how you can use it from your microsoft team and then we will move forward towards the microsoft planner on microsoft 365 so basically i have just opened my microsoft team on my desktop and here what i will do i will create my new team for that i will just click on this button which says join or create team and then i'll click on create team here i have to name my team so i will name it as skills build training youtube channel and after that we are good to go here we have to add the description of this channel or the name which we have just written here and it is up to you if you want to leave it as it is you can do that i will leave it empty then we have the privacy i'll go with the public after that just click on next button here it is creating our team so we will wait for it and here we have to add our members so i will add my members here first one is this one then i will add my second one and at the end i will add my third member here you can add as many members as you want but i am okay over 3 at the moment after that i will just click on add and here we have the summary then i will just click on close here and we are good to go here we have three options first one is post I mean everything which we will post will appear here then we have the files and every files which i will share or any of my team member will share will appear here and then we have a plus sign here if i click on it here we will have different application which we can use into our microsoft teams and here you can see we have excel we have forms then we have list then we have pdf then we have one note and we have many more applications here but we want to use microsoft planner here so i will just search for planner here and here it is some of you might see this as a planner and some of you might see this as task by planner so i will just click on this one because i am seeing task by planner and here what i need to do i need to create a plan or i can use the existing one obviously i want to create new one so that is why i'll go with this one i will just name it as tokens and after that i'll just click on save it is setting up our task by planner so we will wait for it and here you can see we have tokens appeared here so what we need to do here we need to add different things here so what i want to do i want to assign this one so first of all i will rename it i will rename it as how to use jira it means this is the video which i want to create and i want to upload onto my youtube channel and for that i want to name it as this one and then i want to add different task related to this bucket a bucket mean a whole combination of tasks for example as i have added how to use jira this is the title of my video which i am going to make and down here i will add different task related to this bucket i will click on add task here i will write here and then i will set it due date Today is 3rd of September. I want my script to be completed before 7th of September. Then we have a button which says assign. I can assign this task to any of my team member. I will assign this one to Umair. Now, I just need to click on this add task button and this task has been assigned successfully. Here you can see 
we have this one here appearing here we have three dots button if i click on it i can change the label or i can add one more person to this task if i click on it what i want i want ali to be part of this task as well so i'll just click on it and here you can see ali is a part of this task as well again i'll go to that option and then what i can do i can do copy this task and i can use the same task for some other bucket as well and then i can attach a link to this task as well or i can delete that one so we are good with our first task now what i will do here i will add another task and that is and then i'll set the due date i want it to be completed before the 9th of september and i will assign this to myself and i will just click on add task and here you can see this task has been assigned successfully the next task for my video should be and after that i will set the due date and that will be 13th of september and i will assign it to myself and i will just click on add task and here you can see we have successfully assigned different tasks related to this bucket and here you can see we have one another option which says add new bucket if i click on it so what i can do i can create a new one this task was related to this video which says how to use jira and i will write here how to use trello i want a new video onto my channel and for that i have created a new bucket and after that i'll just hit enter or i will click on anywhere on my screen and now for that i will create different tasks for how to use trello bucket again i will create different tasks and i will assign them to different people first one will be my script obviously i will set the due date and then i will assign it to my team member and then i will create another task and this task will be recording and editing and i want this task to be completed before 10th of september and i want to assign this to myself and after that i'll just click on add task and here you can see we have successfully added different task here so this is how you can create different buckets into your planner and this is how you can add a different task and assign a different task to different people if i click on this three dot button here what i can do i can add a different label so as i want this as soon as possible so i will just label it as a red one it means i want this as urgent as possible here you can see we have different options here we have filter if i click on this one what i can do i can filter all of this information and all of these tasks as per the late as per today tomorrow this week so let's see with respect to the next week and here you can see these are the tasks which should be completed by next week now if we go further down here we have different team members i want to see what are the tasks which are assigned to me so i'll just click on it and here you can see these are the tasks which are assigned to me and i am responsible for completing them i'll clear this one now here we have group by bucket if i click on it what i can do here i can again see my different tasks with respect to these options if i click on priority here you can see i have medium priority for my every task and that is why it is appearing under medium priority now if we go with the progress and here you can see not a single task has been completed or in progress and everything is under not started and that is why everything is appearing here as soon as any team member start working on any of these tasks they will be shifted in in progress section and as soon as they get completed they will be shifted into completed section and this is how you can track the progress of your tasks so these are different filters and these are different ways you can search and you can track your task onto your planner and here you can see we have list charts and schedule at the moment we are into our board view if i click on list one here you can see i have all the information in list type if we go with the charts here you can see total tasks are five which have been assigned to different people and if i go further down here you can see we have the information related to bucket at the moment we only have two buckets first one is for how to use jira and second one is how to use trello if i go further down this is the priority of my task 
We have total five tasks and every task have the medium priority. And that is why we have the bar of medium here. Then we have the member means we have the members with number of tasks assigned to them. I am this one and that is why I have three tasks. Ali has two tasks and Umair has one task. And this is the information about the members. So this is how you can have different information about your task and about your bucket. And now if I go to my schedule here, you can see I have my calendar here and in my calendar, I have whole lot of information on each date that what is expected to be done on that particular date. If I click on this 13th of September, here you can see I have the detailed information that what is the bucket, what is the priority and what is this progress of this task. If you want to change the priority of this task, you can just click on it and you can click on urgent. And down here, you can add different comments. You can add different checklist means if you want to add something more related to this task, you can add this list here. Then you have attachment option. It means if you have something important information, which you think should be considered while performing this task, you can attach that information here. And after that, just click on this cross button. And now if I go to my charts here and here you can see we have one task as urgent here. If you remember when we were in our schedule, I shifted this priority from medium to urgent. And this is why we can see one task as urgent in this section. So this is how you can perform different things and you can track your task by different ways. Here we have named it as our tokens. What you can do here, you can rename it or you can remove it from the scratch. I will rename it. Let's say I will name it as I will just click on save. And here you can see the name has just got changed. So this is how you can perform different things on your planner from your Microsoft team. One more important thing which I want to discuss here, and that is if you go to your post section here, you can see this was the board or you can see this was the channel which I created in my planner. And here you can see the post about it on my post section. And this was all about how you can use your planner from Microsoft Teams. Now I'll go to my Microsoft Office and let's see how we can access Microsoft Planner from there. So this is my Microsoft Office Home or you can say Office 365. So if you click on this app launcher button here, here you can see you have a planner. Just click on it. Some of you might not see this here. So to access it, in case if you do not see this, go to your browser and just write Microsoft Planner and just hit enter. And here you can see we have Microsoft Planner link here. It will take you to the Microsoft Planner. And here you can see we have same options or you can say we have same information in both these tabs. And if you remember, this is the information which we added in our Microsoft team and we had same here. If I just click on it and here you can see we have the same task, we have the same buckets and we have everything which we added into Microsoft team appearing here. So what is the benefit of using planner? You do not have to use it from your browser. What you can do, you just can use it from your Microsoft team, from your desktop and everything will get synced up with your Microsoft planner on its own. And here you can see I have the same information. So what I can do here, if I click on my task here, these are the tasks which are assigned to me and every team member can do the same. For example, if I'm Ali, what I will do, I'll go to my Microsoft Office 365 and then I'll open my planner and then I'll just click on my task and everything which have been assigned to Ali will appear here. So this is how easy it is that you can assign different things to different team members and different team members can reach to their assigned tasks. And here you can see we have three section here, not started, in progress and complete. If I just click on this one, which says mark task as complete, let's say I have completed this one and what it has done, it has shifted on its own to the completed section. And then we have in progress section. So as soon as you start working on this one, this task, or you can say this small board will get shifted into this section. Now, if I go to my chart section here, you can see we have 
all the information which we had earlier in our Microsoft Teams. If I scroll down, here we have our plan and here you can see we have not started as two and completed as one. This is the information which is related to me and not related to my team. So keep remember that I'm only talking about my task here, not the tasks which are in total assigned to my team. And that is why the total tasks here are three, not five. Now, if you want to create a new plan from your Microsoft planner, just click on this button and you just have to name it. I will name it as skills build two and I want it to be public. So I will just click on create plan. And what I can do here, I can add different buckets and I can add different tasks just like I did in Microsoft team. So what will happen now? Everything which I will add here, I can access it from my Microsoft team just like I did earlier. So it means that it is two way handshake or you can say it is two way traffic. You add one thing from one place you can access that from the second place, just like I have shown you. So I'll go back to my tokens here. If I click on these three dots here, I have different information. I can see the conversation. I can see the members. I have the files, notebooks, sites, and I have a lot of other information here as well. One very good feature, or you can say one very good functionality, which is offered by Microsoft Planner, and that is export plan to Excel. So just click on it here you can see it has just downloaded all of this information into excel file i'll just open it and here you can see we have every information which was there on microsoft team and on microsoft planner appearing here the benefit of it is if you do not have access to your internet connection what you can do you can download all the information onto microsoft excel and you can keep on working and that was all about for today's video I hope you must have learned a lot of new things and you must have liked this one. If that is the case, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon along with it. If you have something to ask, please leave a comment below. We will get back to you as soon as possible. Till the next video, take care.